Hey everyone, so I am doing a Nintendo retrospective for their 125th anniversary. I am playing my top 25 games leading up to my very first list video. My top 25 Nintendo games. It doesn't need to be Nintendo developed, but it does need to be Nintendo published, right? That's the word. In this case, we've got Pikmin 2, Nintendo published. Now, this game is a very interesting one in that I didn't honestly play this one too much. I played the first Pikmin quite a bit. Um, now, obviously, it says I've, I've, I've played a little bit of... Uh, of this game and we're gonna go ahead and and jump into my my previous save but the first Pikmin was very different it was very good and it was new um, that that's the thing at the time none of this had been done mm. I guess we can go here the perplexing pool um, this type of game had not really been done too well um, surviving and doing all that kind of stuff on you know what we would assume to be earth right we find the relics of of civilization here and we're an alien controlling little pod people i guess if that's what you would want to call it right they're little they're kind of like pod people all right so pikmin one was great you had the three colors that you see here you had blue uh, yellow and red. Red is your like your basic Pikmin, right? All right, we'll go ahead and grab out. I'll we'll grab out 30 of them. Pikmin 2 expanded on that. It added more Pikmin, and it just kind of brought everything. I don't. I don't want to say a full circle, but it just kind of fleshed out everything a little bit more. Um, now they were both originally released for the GameCube, and while they did really well there, uh, personally. I found the controls to be a little, uh, I don't really know what to say, not lacking, but, I don't know, uh, you, you, they were limited, for example, the C stick, the C stick, uh, controlled, um, I don't remember what button actually controlled this pointer, for example, uh, but it would only go out so far. Whereas this, uh, me playing on the Wii, I can actually extend it out fairly far, and I have a better range of, of motion. I can, I could tell the Pikmin to pick something up uh, more precisely. It honestly is is better with motion controls this game. That's a little hard to get used to, and I don't remember. That's one. Way. Oh, I'm switching Olimar between Olimar and his brother, I believe. Um, now there is a th the third game in the series that I haven't played on the Wii U yet, but I heard that's actually pretty good. I chose Pikmin 2 because one, I had not played uh, played it too much. Right, spit some spit some Pikmin out for me. Yeah, that's right. You spit the Pikmin. Um, I'm gonna wait for them to, to become flowers. Um, now this game, I didn't really get it as a kid. Pikmin One took me quite a while to really, to really get a handle on. I I wasn't stupid with video games, but as a kid, I didn't. I didn't get really complex things too easily. I don't, to be fair, I don't think most kids do, right? Um, I mean, and that's not to say that some kids can't get complex systems or mechanics. I just happen to not be one of them. RPGs, I did play like the Final Fantasy games when I was a kid. We've already gone over that. And I guess those are pretty complex, but I never... I don't know how to put it. This game, especially the first one where you had like the time limit, it was it wasn't complex as in like there's a system that you need to learn. It was complex in you have a, you have a sh very strict time limit, and you need to oh 
we need fire and electric, right? Okay. It was you had a very specific time limit in the first game, and you couldn't deviate from much. You had to to go. You had to get your stuff and, and you had you had to you had to have your act together. In this one they relaxed the time restrictions, but there's still a very, you know, uh, pressuring mechanic in this game. You, you know, Olimar is, is, is hemorrhaging money, if I remember correctly. And you have to, uh, everything you do is to get money to send back home for your ship or I forget what specifically it is. I haven't played in a while. Can I take the leaf? They can't take the leaf. Alright, so he's going to take that over there for money, and uh, so you have these little holes and dungeons, I guess you would call them, and you can go in and you can uh, gather all the stuff and you can get money, and that's a, uh, you know, that's a way to get the money is, is the, the monster carcasses, that's uh, also a way for you to, to get more Pikmin, for example, that's what you saw up top. Um, what are you, you're, it's weird. Um, but in each of these areas, they're kind of like puzzles. Some of them. Um, and there are fruits and, where is it? Fruit and items that you can collect that give you money more than the, uh, the animals of the area. The animals don't give you much in the way of money to send back home, but that's okay, right? Uh, if you want to beat the game efficiently, you just go straight for... You skip this stuff, and you go straight for the good stuff, like that big tomato right there. So one thing I do want to talk about with this game is it's supposedly supposed to be... Uh, you're supposed to be on Earth. And it's supposed to be a, po a post-apocalyptic Earth. Oh, uh, yellows get thrown farther, by the way. And you can... This one needed at least 20 Pikmin to carry. But if you put 30 on it, they carry it faster. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be a post-apocalyptic situation. And that is kind of scary. Like, all that's left are the remains of civilization. Like, Duracell batteries, for example. That's a... A weird product placement. But you can find old Nintendo stuff in here, which is um, you can you find a Famicom controller if I remember correctly. But it's just kind of creepy to think about that. That that's a thing that the Nintendo would do. You don't think Nintendo would do a post-apocalyptic game? And now, to be fair, compared to Fallout, this is 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 not the same type of post-apocalyptic game. All right, so that was worth Love Nuggets. Uh, it's a tomato, guys. Calm down. Yeah. What are you doing? My cat's doing weird things. Yeah. So you wouldn't think Nintendo does a would do a post-apocalyptic game. Now, granted, they they didn't in the sense of a Fallout, but they they still did. It's not the same. Uh, the world is grungy and dying, and 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 shit's going down everywhere. But they did make, I guess, a post-apocalyptic world. You just wouldn't know that. The game doesn't flat out tell you, hey, the world ended. And you're an alien with, with well, they, they tell you you're an alien. With pod people. Pod animals. And you get to explore the world. Like, that. they don't specify any of that. It's just kind of inferred, I would think. Okay, let's just get some of the yellows, or sorry, some of the reds. So what I want to do is, uh, red Pikmin are immune to fire, which is what that is, obviously. So... Ooh! Nectar! Nectar, 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 nectar. Now, one benefit of the GameCube version is the C-Stick, and I, can, I could control my Pokemon, or Pokemon, my Pikmin. Oh, I guess I still can. Oh. That's actually kind of handy. I didn't press down on my on my on my D-pad. Really, what is my cat doing? What the hell? He's being weird, everybody. Which is he's my cat. So that's kind of obvious. Um, 
Alright, smell uh, Nectar uh, makes your Pikmin go from leaves to... Goes from leaves to flowers right away. And this guy here, we'll go ahead and throw a bunch of Pikmin in. And we'll go ahead and spit out a bunch of, or at least five, purple Pikmin. Alright, so these purple Pikmin, bloop, are fatties. They are heavier, uh, they carry more, and they weigh more. I think it's five, uh, five regular Pikmin to one purple Pikmin in, in terms of of weight and carry capacity. Um, oh Jesus, move! You little toad bastard. Uh, they also hurt. They also do more damage, if I remember correctly. So that's also a benefit. Sweet, I don't think I lost any Pikmin who doing that. Alright, what's that? Uh, bottle cap? Okay. Go ahead and take that back. They have a treasure meter in the bottom right. So the closer to the treasure we are, uh, you know, the more it will flash for you. No, we don't need that many to carry it. I want... Some of you to help me, some of these red Pikmin to take out this fire. Ah, Royal Crown, RC, wow. Creative inspiration is what this is. So yeah, they don't, they don't name it the Duracell battery or the, um, the RC Cola cap. You know, it's more creative than that. You, give me that lipstick. Uh, red Pikmin also do f uh, do more damage too, so um, right now I'm using them because of the fire, but they also do attack better. I do believe that the purple Pikmin are still stronger than red, but that's, that's okay. Just attack the everything. Oh, I have a yellow Pikmin with me. Uh-oh. You weren't supposed to come with me. Um, what the hell? These little bugs are like trying to carry off everything. That's really kind of creepy. Like, what the hell? Oh, Jesus. I've got yellow Pikmin with me. They're on fire. But you can, you can stop the fire. Um, uh, if, if I call them and, and I kind of like, it's kind of like spraying them off, sort of. Not really. Why are you trying to carry off my stuffs? You little freaky thing. I don't even know what it is. Alright, so what this is? Lip service. It's kind of creepy, actually. Lip service? Alright, I'll go ahead and kill you only because you're pissing me off and taking. You're carrying off all my things. You're not attacking, you're just annoying. Okay, you know what? Just sit over there and be annoying. Just don't carry off my Pikmin. All right, let's dig this guy out of here and see what it is, shall we? All right, you guys make weird noises over there and do whatever you want to do. Get the rest of you. Bunch of yellows accidentally came with me, so I almost ended up killing lots of Pikmin. <laughs> what the hell? It's a ducky head. All right, everyone, just carry all this crap. Just, yeah, yeah. So you see that that would take eleven or three Pikmin. Um, and before I threw more on, there was the the purples. They take up like watch, purple. Oh, three, ten Pikmin. Oh Jesus! Right, so it, it's ten Pikmin to one purple, not five. I thought it was five. Alright, we got another special item, too. Paradoxal... A paradoxical enigma? Alright, that's really random. Alright, so, really, this game is really good. I rented the first one, and I rented this one. They are, honestly, really games. Really good games. If you're into exploration and, like, loot grabbing, and if you kind of want to see what a a Nintendo post-apocalyptic game would kind of be like without 
all the killing and the shooting and the looting and the pillaging and the 50s music, which is actually pretty good if you ask me, um, then I would say go ahead and pick up Pikmin 1 and Pikmin 2. I don't, I can't tell you which ones are cheaper to pick up, but I would definitely say that this is, this is a good game to get. There, it's, it's very, it's a lot deeper than you would think it is. Uh, Pikmin 1 less so than Pikmin 2 to be honest because Pikmin 2 you have like these little mini dungeons and you even have a two-player function um, It's not as uh, Not well thought out. It's not as like fleshed out as Pikmin 3's Multiplayer Pikmin 3 is is the better game of the two or of the three But I would say pick them all up Pick up the first one, pick up the second one, and pick up the third one. The first one only has one player, the second one has two players. Well, you have two guys. And the third one, you have three commanders, but Olimar and his brother are not in it, sadly. So if you guys liked this episode, please consider subscribing and thumbsing up the video. I would greatly appreciate it, and it would help me out a lot. Um, send it to your friends. I would like this series to get more traction. Oh, he's an electric bug. So only the yellow Pikmin should deal with him. Uh, yellow Pikmin are also immune to electricity. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please send it to your friends. I would also greatly appreciate that. It would help me out a lot. Remember, guys, this is episode, what is it, 9 of 26. So if you want to keep seeing more, please consider subscribing. And then you can see the rest of the series. And then you can see the final video, which I need to write a script for still. But I'm bad at writing scripts. So... That's why it's not written yet. I'm horrible at it. To be honest, I don't even know if the 25th, the 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 the, the list video is gonna be like a big scripted thing. It's probably just gonna be simple at this rate because I suck at writing scripts apparently. <laughs> but remember, guys, play more games, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.